want to talk to you guys about neck stiffness and some common causes of what causes neck pain and then some ways to prevent it. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about, the biggest contributor of neck pain is our poor posture. A lot of us sit at work throughout the day at our desks, we're not aware of our posture, we might not have ergonomically correct workstations set up, we're in front of the computer, we're on our phones or our tablets texting, um, just our lifestyles in general we're very forward, forward focused. Um, even us as therapists, um, you know, we're working, we're on our feet all day, but we're still bent over our patients all day. So things to think about in terms of your posture opening up through your chest. We're going to stretch everything that's tight anteriorly and strengthen everything posteriorly to help with your posture there. Um, another thing, driving, you get that kind of forward head, especially if you have a really long commute. I know that's really common here in the Northern Virginia uh, DMV area. We all have long commutes and sit in traffic a lot. Um, so just doing those little posture checks every now and then if you're sitting in traffic or you're stopped at a light, just kind of pulling everything back so you're nice and upright. Another thing that contributes to um, neck pain a lot, neck stiffness and tightness, is disc degeneration. Your disc is kind of like a jelly donut, and what happens over time is the jelly inside starts to kind of dry out, and then the discs themselves start to lose height. So you can see down here, these are the de degenerated discs down here. So they're losing height and what that does is it makes your individual vertebrae start to approximate they're coming together and then they're going to start to rub and that's going to cause a lot of pain arthritis occurs when you have wear and tear of the cartilage which is connective tissue in between the joints that helps cushion it so when you get that wear down of the cartilage you're getting more bone on bone so the joints themselves, and you can see here, it gets really, really inflamed. And around the joint where they kind of articulate together is called the facet joint. The facet joints can get really inflamed, start to degenerate. They're gonna rub bone on bone. It's gonna be really uncomfortable. And along with the inflamed joint, you can see right where the nerve comes through, the nerve can get irritated too. You can see if we kind of move down the spine here, you can see bone spurring can also occur. It's a very common occurrence with arthritis to get bony overgrowth. The last one I want to show you guys is joint degeneration. As we get old, we get structural deterioration. Um, if you remember your grandmother, your great grandmother, they shrink, you know, they may have lost some height and that is due to both disc and joint degeneration. So you can see in this picture here, the wear down of the individual vertebrae themselves and you can see again they're going to approximate that's going to cause more pressure on the discs more pressure on the nerves and increased pain so how does all of this impact your daily life you're going to get loss of range of motion you might have difficulty just turning your head or your neck when you're trying to look over your shoulder while you're driving um, even you know just rolling over in bed or sleeping throughout the night could be really difficult um, pain when you're doing your regular daily activities or recreational activities if you're into sports um, something as simple as you know lifting a bag of groceries could cause increased neck pain child care doing laundry, um, cooking, if you're stirring a lot, even putting away dishes, loading things into the dishwasher, things of that nature. How does PT help with neck pain? Uh, one thing that we do here at Loudon Sports Therapy Center is manual hands-on therapy. So the therapist will work with the patients, find out where their restrictions are in your initial evaluation, and will do, if it's um, indicated, joint mobilization to make sure the joints are moving the way that they should to increase your neck range of motion. We're also going to do soft tissue work, myofascial release, trigger point release to, to treat the soft tissue. And what that's going to do is help loosen up those really tight muscles in our necks. A lot of us, myself included, we hold our stress in our shoulders. So those neck muscles here that run along the top of your shoulder called your upper trapezius are tight in almost everybody. We're going to stretch those really tight muscles. A lot of us are forward folded with our postures, so we're going to stretch out those pecs and then make sure that we're stabilizing everything posteriorly in our postural muscles and our cervical stabilizers too. So everything neck wise is going to help pull our heads back into that nice tall posture. We're going to help you strengthen that. For more information, give us a call at 703-450-4300 or click the link below.